the Hunter Biden uh, deposition was such a dud for them, but such a great, great example of a good time. Thank you. I, I think it was a good show as well. I'm only going to touch on this because I'm curious about it. Um, what what ultimately uh, uh, Stretch Ben Shapiro thinks about um, this, uh, the, you know, the, this issue on one in, instance. He goes, uh, this is what we're learning from Jim Biden's deposition. And if you'll notice here, there, Joe's got cash coming out of his hands and Jim Biden and Hunter Biden have boxes full of diamonds. There was literally one diamond and apparently Jim threw it away because it wasn't worth anything. There you go. Fox News alert. We just got our... This is, by the way, this is uh, uh, Stretch Ben Shapiro, a.k.a. Catabella Brown. Our hands on Joe Biden's brother's deposition and it Yawn. is even more preposterous than Hunter's. And that's a high bar. As we reported last night, not only did Hunter admit his dad is the big guy. No, he didn't. But he says Joe was stopped. I, I did the whole thing. Also, bowl of, that's Joe with a bowl of spaghetti off camera there. By his business meetings. They, they spent a lot of money on this uh, graphic, by the way, and it's ass. He called birthday parties to eat bowls of spaghetti with his clients. Now, Hunter doesn't call them clients. He told congressional investigators they're really his friends. Hunter's friends with Russians living in Moscow and the effing spy chief of China. Jesus Christ, have you ever heard Trump talk about Putin for fuck's sake? His words, not mine. What kind of business are you in when you're dead? Also, no, he didn't. The friends he was talking about was the Chinese guy, um, not, not the Russian people. The, the Russians were friends of Devin Archer's, the woman, uh, uh, Elena Badarina, the mayor of Moscow's wife who gave money to invest in property to Devin Archer. Dad keeps showing up at your business meetings, though. My dad doesn't pop into my editorial meetings at Fox. Yeah, but neither of your parents really like And say hi to my producers. Has, have they ever? Have they ever been by? They haven't ever been by. Like, I find that even weirder. When you take your clients out to lunch, does your dad stop by for spaghetti? I've been to my dad's uh, meetings. Um, he had a uh, he was hiring some architects for his firm at one point, and I was in town with him. And so I went to lunch with my dad and some prospective ar architects he was going to hire. I met like two or three of them. I, uh, I it, this might shock you. I never got those art ar architects to uh, buy me or build me or design me a house or give me a property or loan me a property or get me a loan or or anything related to real estate at all, just for the record. I did eat uh, uh, Mexican food and one of the guys uh, ordered a quesadilla off the menu. And when we were done, I was like, oh, he better be a really good architect, dad, because. Hunter says when he's with his business partners and his dad happens to call, he puts him on speaker. Mm yeah, but, uh, once a year, uh, twice a year over the course of 10 years. I've never done that, probably because my dad's not famous, but let's say my dad was Biden. The re <laughs> you, well, if your dad was Biden, you wouldn't have turned out this way. The reason I'm putting my dad on the phone is to impress my partners and show them what kind of easy access they can get to dad. Well, then why wouldn't you do it more often? Why would you do it? Only two times a year, all the business meetings you're having, all the dinner meetings you're having, all the new clients you're meeting, all this stuff, and you only do it, you only manage to get your dad on the phone twice. You talk to him every day, every single day, but he only manages to be on speakerphone twice a year, maybe. And that's, by the way, that's Devin Archer's number. Biden doesn't know his cameo or his phone calls are the main course of the business dinner. Why would they be? They didn't result in anything. When all of these business dinners are with foreigners and you're the that didn't get anything VP. Uh, the Chinese economy is crashing and I would argue Russia is certainly not getting anything from us. I'm sorry, uh, Elena Batarina. And after the dinners and phone calls, your son takes the clients to visit the White House dozens of times. No, he doesn't. And you fly your son around to 15 foreign countries and talk to him on the phone every day. That's not a normal father-son relationship. It is if one of your kids has died. Uh, well, two of your kids has died. One when she was just a little girl 
when your wife died and your other son died of a brain tumor um, and you only have one adult son left and he's got an addiction, especially you would, you would talk to him a lot more. I mean, if you now granted, that's only if you gave a fuck. That's a father and son who are in business together. Or that's a father who has a son who's an addict and he's trying to get back on his feet and is going through troubles and they talk all the time because that's the kind of family they are. And we're learning from Jim Biden's deposition when his father wasn't around, Hunter brought his uncle. Why would he have to, when was his dad not around? They were on the phone every day. He was on speakerphone every single meeting. I, I mean, why would he have to have James around? Jim Biden says Hunter took him to Hong Kong, but it wasn't a business trip. He was there to keep his nephew company. But when Hunter introduced him to Patrick Ho, you know, the effing spy chief of China, Jim Biden says his spidey sense went off. The president's brother, Jimmy, had lunch in Hong Kong with the effing spy chief of China. Yeah, neither one of them knew that this guy was hooked up at the time. And later on, they were like, yikes, fuck this guy. And by the way, Trump never did that. He was in bed with a bunch of these fuckers and still likes them. And said they didn't discuss business. At one point during the lunch, Ho borrowed Hunter to go to the next room and talk for a half an hour. And Jim Biden just hung out on the veranda by himself. Totally. Well, because they weren't in business. Totally normal. The vice president flies his son to Beijing. He comes home with millions. And then the vice president's brother and. Yeah, that didn't happen either. The son are in Hong Kong with the spy chief of China. It's not really the spy chief of China. And then Patrick. Just, I'm just saying, he's not actually that. That's not his title. That was Hunter, while he was high, getting paranoid about this guy because the guy got basically scooped up by the government, the CCP. Co gets arrested, and the one phone call he makes from jail is to Jim Biden, just a guy he had lunch with once in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And the FBI has Ho's phone wiretapped and knows exactly what the Bidens are doing. Right, and they weren't able to find anything. And the Bidens were doing a lot for China. A top, oh, they were? top Chinese communist wants to move into Manhattan, so Uncle Jim. Oh, what? Where? Where did he want to? He wanted to move into Manhattan. Where did he buy an apartment? Gets them set up with an apartment and whisks them around town like a tour guide. Jim says he did it out of the kindness of his heart. And I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about. Uh... Ho, not Yi Jin Ming. This is a 74-year-old man with nothing else to do, except make the Chinese feel welcomed in New York. Which is Rudy Giuliani's job, I think. Why is he rolling out the red carpet for the... I don't know. Why did the Chinese bail out Jared Kushner from the 666 Fifth Avenue building? The Chai comms? Because he says the guy was the protege of President Xi. The vice president's brother meets the next in line to the Chinese Communist Party chair and says, hop in an Uber. Let me show you Times Square. And the Chinese are America's number one enemy. No, they're not. And the Biden family. They're not. They're not our number one enemy. You could argue that Iran and North Korea is, and you certainly could say that uh, Russia is. But especially at that time, uh, China was our uh, continued to be our biggest trade partner. If the concern is they were our number one enemy, why the fuck did Donald Trump put off responding to COVID so he could finish his trade deal with them? Referring them to their realtor and taking them to brunch. But there was a lot more than just the whining and dining. The uh, uh, by the way, what about the NBA, anybody else, like all, Disney, all the companies doing business in China all during this time? This isn't last year, motherfucker. This is like seven years ago. This is when everybody was kind of all in. I did a whole fucking show in China with the idea that we were going to get to see the, the ways they were fixing poverty and all this kind of stuff. And I, as much as I like Chinese culture, I was dumbfounded by how awful things were once I got a real look at it because they expected me not to go on a fucking walk. Right. Gifts were quite plentiful. As we told you last night, Hunter told investigators the diamond the Chinese gave him wasn't a gift, it was a trade. Hunter said he gave him $80,000 bottle of scotch. Not him, his guys. They were all there together. He had Except for Bobolinsky, who wasn't there, even though he said he was. No receipt, but like Fanny said, take my word for it. Now why? 
Bond. Why'd the Chinese give Hunter diamonds? He said they didn't. One diamond. As that was a part of the business culture in China. Okay, well, Jim remembered it a little differently. Jim says Hunter was given a diamond at his daughter's school. A parent came over to him on campus and handed Hunter a diamond and said, we'd like to do business with you and the Chinese. Imagine dropping off your child at school in Washington and a random parent approaches you in the parking lot, slips you a diamond and says, let's do business in Beijing. I mean, if this were me, I'd say, honey, I'll be picking up Jesse Jr. from school going forward. You rest. Oh, I see. Only your stupid wife would take the diamond. You wouldn't take the diamond at all is the idea is that you're, but your wife would have taken it. Or, you, or you'll be taking them. You're going to go because you would get more diamonds. Yeah. Now, Hunter allegedly asked Jim to have the diamond appraised. And Jim said it was worth only a couple hundred bucks. So he threw it away. But it wasn't a couple hundred bucks. On Hunter Biden's laptop, there's a photo of the appraisal slip. It's over three carats. VS2 clarity. F mm -hmm. color, the highest quality. The rock. Yeah, that's from Miranda Devine's uh, book. That's, again, um, not actually evidence. But go ahead. Tens of thousands of dollars. A jeweler looks at that appraisal. He's not tossed. That would also be, I guess, the... Is it the same diamond we're talking about? That would be the other question. Sing it in the trash? Are we talking about the same one? I think it might be that there were two separate diamonds. So is that the one from the parent? And you're talking about, right, yeah, the di yes, the one they got from the Chinese dude was synthetic. President Biden's brothers dining in Hong Kong, doing diamond appraisals and chauffeuring around President Xi's protege. What does he even do for a living? It's a great question. The president doesn't even know what he does for a living. That's what Jim told investigators. My brother has no idea what I do because I don't talk about business to my brother. I don't ask him advice in terms of business because i just don't it is a line a red line drawn in the sand yeah that's what he said under oath and joe biden the president of the united states who's a right who's been a senator and a congressperson and knows that that line exists doesn't discuss it Eighty years old has no idea what his brother's job is nope that's not the same thing that's uh that's lying through obfuscation that's the uh, ad absurdum argument uh, he knows what he does for a living. He doesn't know about it, though. He doesn't know the day-to-day. -day. He doesn't know what deals he's making, who he's making those deals with. It's like knowing your your brother's a lawyer, but because he works for the Justice Department or something like that, you can't know about the, the details of the case. Like, I, I have a relative who's in law enforcement. I know he's in law enforcement, but I don't know his day-to-day decision-making about the cases that he's on, and I won't know about a case that he's involved in unless I ask about it well after it's over. Right. And that's, you know, and that's law enforcement. That's not like a business where there has to be a firewall between me and him. If I was if he was like a, I don't know, like a, a, a federal regulator or something like that. And he and his he was in law enforcement, but he dealt with like mortgage law or something like that. And I was a mortgage broker and m my clients don't allow me to discuss things with anyone without a subpoena or something like that. I couldn't just chit chat with my cousin about the the loans I was putting out, unless there was a direct law that was being broken that I would not participate in, for for example. But if I knew details about it, I couldn't talk to him about it. That may or may, if even if I think they're hinky, if I don't know there's a crime being committed, I can't just mention it to him. He can know that I'm a mortgage broker, but not who I give mortgages to and why, unless he gets a subpoena. Does that make sense? That's a real line that exists. He could be a dentist. He could be a taxidermist. I'm a See, this is where it, this is called the ad absurdum lie. This is where he goes. He doesn't know what he does for a living. He knows what he does for a living. He just doesn't know who he does it with and what those deals are. That's not hard to explain. Massage therapist. Hey, Jim, happy Thanksgiving. What are you up to these days? Sorry, Joe. Can't tell you. Red line. OK, let's go watch the Redskins. Yep, that's pretty much how it works. So if Peter Ducey asks the president, what does your brother do for a living? He won't know. No, he will. He knows what he does, but he doesn't know about the deals he does. Again, he can know he's a mortgage broker. He can know he's a lawyer. He can know he's 
uh, you know, a, a venture capitalist or something like that, but he can't know the details of what he's actually doing. You don't have to be stupid. You just don't have to participate in what they're doing. The president of the United States doesn't know what his brother or his son does for a living. That no, that's not true. And that's not at all what he's saying. That's what they're telling you. No, that's not what they're telling you. Investigators asked him, how do you live in such a nice home? If all you do is get paid by your nephew for advice. You've owned property in Florida, the Virgin Islands, Pennsylvania. He lives in a beautiful property now in Maryland. Jim said... He sold a stake in a South American gas company in a deal with Carlos Slim, the Mexican billionaire. Jim says he's friends with Slim. So how do you get a position in the company? Sweat equity, he says. Same answer as Fannie Willis. Bonnie. Now, when investigators ask Jim, can you name any deals that the Bidens seeded or developed themselves? He couldn't name a single deal. Jim says their relationship was seeded which kind of means countries give the Biden things for free. So no, what it means is, is that because they know he can't run off the money, it's the same thing that happened in Ukraine, is that does uh, Hunter Biden know a tremendous amount about actual oil and gas drilling? No, but if he's the shepherd for the investor's money, it's going to get where it's supposed to go. Again, if, uh, if I forced Jesse Waters to make a binary decision, you have to invest every dime you have in Burisma before Hunter Biden shows up or after Hunter Biden shows up. That's the only choice you have, before or after. You cannot not do it, and your entire life savings is on the line. When do you do it? Before he shows up or after? The obvious answer, after, because you would make a return on your investment. Before Hunter Biden shows up, your money just gets stolen and some fucker runs off with it and lives in Russia under Putin's protection. They can have a relationship. Same thing with James, clearly. That explains why all the Bidens ever did was go to lunches, dinners, and meetings and leave with cars, cash, and diamonds. What's a little money between friends? Click here to- That's it, that's the whole, uh, that, what we've seen here is like, if you'll notice, by the way, he's talking about the, the, Biden, the James Biden deposition. This is the, it's a seven minute segment on it most of which, what, what did we actually see on screen during this? And I think this is kind of crucial, the whole thing. This, we saw this goofy three-dimensional graphic that they made for him. They've got the Hunter Biden transcripts, plural, released. There's only one, but it's the Biden transcripts, plural, that would be released. It'd be James and him, whatever. Not important. But you've got a picture of him in front of three pages. You're not seeing any text on those pages, and those are the opening pages because, God forbid, you see what's actually in them. Then... Let's see. He tells you what was said. We, he shows you James Biden transcripts release, whatever. Uh, same deal. Picture, three, three pieces of paper behind him. None of what's in it. And then he describes to it. He shows a picture of Patrick Ho because he's Asian and he looks scary in front of a thing. And then these uh, graphics that he had made. Nothing is stopping this motherfucker from putting the quotes up. Nothing. Okay, this is the one piece he shows, and it's from Miranda Devine's book. It's not from the transcripts, for the record. And it seems like he's talking about two separate diamonds uh, and conflating the two on purpose. Okay, and then this is the one piece right here. James Biden transcript. My brother has no idea uh, what I do. This is the one quote he puts up on camera. Um... My brother has no idea what I do because I don't talk about business to my brother. I don't ask him advice in terms of business because I just don't. It's a line, a red line in the sand. The, the my brother has no idea what I do is not what I do for a living. It's what I do on the daily with my business. He knows what he does. He just doesn't give a fuck. That's this piece. That's the one, the one clip and it's, see this weird, like it's a graphic version of it as opposed to like a picture of the actual transcript, what was said before, what was said after, who asked the question, when, no context, out, inside or outside. But the one thing is an under oath denial that Joe knows anything about his business. That's the one quote. What's the one piece of direct evidence they put on the screen? And then what else? This graphic goes on for a while. Same shit. Yeah, a lot of air quotes and bullshit. That's it. 
is yeah. And the only quote he has is the one where James Biden says, under oath, my brother doesn't has no idea what I do. Everything else is just Jesse Waters misstating what's actually in the record, misstating what's actually said, and and doing a lot of air quotes and going, doesn't it seem weird that you da 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 da? Like, yeah, because it's different when you're in government and there are rules about that that are different than if you work at fucking Fox News. Your parents don't come to your place of work at Fox News because they either don't like the people you work with or you don't invite them because you're fucking weird. My parents have been either on set, yeah, on set uh, together or apart on almost on every set since Talk Soup. They came to Canada when we were shooting Queer as Folk. They, they came to Lab Rats. Uh, my dad was with me. We had lunch one day when I was doing the VH1 I Love This all day. I took a break in between because he was in LA. And when I took a break in between that, it's not weird at all. And I've been doing my show fucking live. And my mom has called me and I put her on speakerphone because it's my fucking mom. Alert, Hunter Biden tips 40% of the waitress who served him lunch. Where did the tip money come from? China money. <laughs> uh, how do you have such patience with the absolute assets? Well, that's the thing, Stargal. That's what I was saying about faith and, and optimism is that I, I, I know how this ends for these guys. I know. Uh, and, and watching them getting increasingly frustrated with their bullshit is kind of satisfying, I have to say. Um, that said, I love that this is a Fox News alert. And, and literally the only quote from the transcript is the one where he says under oath. He says that under oath. That's it. It's the only quote they put on screen. The rest of it's all graphics and fucking uh, uh, pictures. And, and a lot of that, does that sound weird? What if I the said Democrats something or did something? Or what if I was, oh, all right. Sorry. This is a uh, clip to another. I accidentally clipped on another Janine thing. And we're not doing Janine today. I don't need that. You don't need that. Nobody fucking needs that. Meanwhile, uh, like, subscribe. I'll let you guys go. Take care of yourself and take care of somebody else. Share the clips and all that kind of stuff. Send some love to CSL because he's under the weather today. Uh, and um, and thank you, Andrea, for uh, helping out as well. Thanks to our mods. And uh, love you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow at the regular time. I'm going to, uh, I've got, um, I don't know if you can even see it. Let me see. Where is the one side? Yeah, see that? Look at that. That's a cupping scar. There you go. I've got a bunch. I, I did cupping last week for, with my acupressure, uh, my uh, acupuncture and acupressure and cupping. And the cupping left big, like she really went whole hog on me. So I have like 10 spots and I'm going back tomorrow. And I know some of them aren't even going to be cleared by then. So I'm going to be doubling up. I'm going to look like a leopard by the end of this whole thing. Yeah, it's, it works great. It's, it's totally good. You know, it's supposed to help me out with the kidney. Sure, but maybe. <laughs>